Good morning, friends. Welcome to Shekhan Pre Market Roundup. First in the global markets. Yesterday, when it closed, uh, most of the European markets were trading in green by around half a percent, and the US futures were also trading flatish. But by the end of the day, uh, with not much of volatility in the US markets, US markets closed down uh, marginally negative, whereas the European markets uh, gave away all the gain and closed down marginally negative. On the, our market spend, yesterday we scaled another new lifetime high and closed on those levels of uh, 8150 plus on Nifty. This was mainly on the back of a lot of buying happening from the FIs. Yesterday the FIs reported 1163 crore of uh, 1163 crore rupees of uh, net buying in cash market, whereas the buyer were around 200 crores in the F uh, index futures. Whereas the domestic institutional uh, investors sold around 508 crore rupees of uh, stock in cash. On the, on the Asian markets front, uh, Hang Seng and some other Asian markets are closed. There is some data has been released in Japan where the contraction in the economy has been at 7.1 versus 6.8 expectation. Uh, last week, Bank of Japan uh, kept the rate, uh, bank rate unchanged, uh, but now because of this data, there are expectations that there can be another round of QE happening in Japan, so uh, which can further aid the liquidity situation in Asia, Asian markets and Japan. Now let's have an update on derivatives. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. Coming out from their consolidation phase, the Indian benchmark indices sh showcased an enthusiastic performance in yesterday's trade. As we have seen that Nifty commenced its day with a gap up opening of around 40 to 45 points higher. Initial number of trades, we have seen that markets continue to trade with a in a narrow range but with positive bias. Later gains were seen in BPCL, Infosys, Tata Motors, State Bank of India, Reliance Industries, which supported the Nifty to hit a fresh intraday high as well as lifetime high close to the mark of 8200. And Nifty finally snapped its session at 8193 again with a new lifetime high with a significant gain of close to 1%. In this period, we have seen that long positions were built up by market players as open interest increased by 3.53% from 1 crore 63 lakhs to 1 crore 69 lakhs. Approximately 11,000 contracts were added in yesterday's trade. Also, Nifty futures price increased by 75 to 76 rupees, but on the other hand, cost of carry decreased by 25% from 6.74 to 5.04%. Along with Nifty futures premium decreased from 29 points to 19 odd levels. On the options front, PCR has increased by 7.78% from 0 0.90 to 0.97, which is clearly indicating that in yesterday's trade, put option has seen good build-up. Yesterday's trade, put option has added around 56 lakh shares in open interest, whereas call option has added only 8 lakh shares in open interest. India VIX was down by 1% from 12.94 to 12.79. In the options activity, yesterday we have seen that 8,000 call option has reduced its shares in open interest, that activity was shifted to 8,300 and 8,500 and in put option, yesterday 8,200 put option was most active as we have seen that 88% shares were added in 8,200 put option followed by 8,100 and 8,000. So we may see overall view is positive, market rate is up, upward, market rate is up and we have seen that uh, our stable breaking point is 8,212 level. If Nifty crosses today and if Nifty close, Above that level, we can see Nifty may continue its support journey towards 8300-8350 odd levels. There are three securities in bank period. One is Indian Real Estate, second is JP Associate, third is HDI. Yesterday, FIs for net buys of 840 crores in future and option segment. They were net buys of 193 crore in next futures. They were net buys of 810 crore in index options. They were net sellers of 80 crore in stock futures. And they were net sellers of 77 crore in stock options. Our Friday CBM stands at 8140, lower range for the market would be 8100 and higher range still it is same 8112. Singapore T is up by 3 points which is at 8193. We may see a positive to flattish to positive start in Nifty futures today. That's it from negatives. Thank you. Now let's have a look at some of the actionable ideas and uh, some of the trading ideas for the day. Firstly the trading ideas. Tata Power may soon divest uh, over 1 billion stake in Indonesian mines. According to analysts, the remaining 25% stake in the coal mines is valued at around a little over 1 billion dollar. Tata Power uh, has bought this stake in 2007 for around 4,740 crore rupees. Action to be taken here is long Tata Power with a stop at 86 for target of 94 and 96. 
Tata Motors owns Jaguar, uh, Land Rover has announced official launch of Jaguar XC. Uh, in the UK, this premium mid-size sports sedan is outstanding, uh, is outstanding realization of two new factories, uh, 2300 new jobs and around $2 billion of investment in the UK, point two billion investment in the UK. Action to be taken, Tata, Power is, uh, Tata Motors is long, stop at 497 for target of uh, 527 and 535. TCS has reiterated that uh, its guidance on revenue front end has indicated a strong September quarter in line with June quarter. Action to be taken here in uh, TCS is long with a stop at 2597 for a target of 2680 and 2695. The NDA government uh, will not allow foreign direct investment in multi brand retail, commerce, and industry ministry Nirmas is around said. Action to be taken is uh, short shopper uh, stop for a target of 493 and 587 with a stop at 520 and a short trend with a stop at 1230 for a target of 1175 and 1160. On stocks where we can see some action happening during the day is uh, BPCL, ONGC, Voltas and Trumping Views on the long side. Most of the stocks are on uh, multi-year high and uh, short Sun TV at 353. On the news flow front, NSCI has uh, said that they will be introducing 5 new uh, stocks to FNO. Uh, 5 stocks are SKS Microfinance, TVS Motor, Aisha, Mo Aisha Motors, Motors and Sumi and Mindtree. M&M is lining up 3 major launches in the next 18 to 24 months. Uh, this is mainly to take over, uh, to reclaim the place which has been acquired by Ford EcoSport and uh, Renault Duster. Bushan still has chalked out a plan with uh, the lenders uh, to raise 1000 crore by equity. Uh, sorry, raise 1000 crore from sale and lease back of uh, critical assets to reduce this 40,000 crore debt. Domestic cover prices have uh, sliced further, which, which are already on multi year low, from uh, 130 rupees uh, per kg to around 125 rupees per kg. This is majorly positive for the tire manufacturing companies. Today we have SC verdict on uh, the coal scam today. A four member committee of secretaries uh, will submit its uh, report of on a new uh, gas pricing formula by Wednesday. September 10, the new price will replace the Rangarajan panel suggestion of doubling of gas price to 8.4 mm BTU. SPIC is planning to import regasified LNG uh, to use gas bullets to meet government uh, mandate of converting the plant to gas bed instead of using naphtha as feedstock. The government earlier gave deadline till July 31, which was extended till September end. A government panel has recommended coal ministry may consider allocating eight mines to the power sector under the government the, uh, dispensation rule. Amid power minister uh, Pius was promising 24 by 7 power for all. The eight coal blocks are in the streets of West Bengal, Odisha, and Maharashtra. Suvan Life Science Limited is betting big on its key molecule Suvan uh, 502 meant for treatment of Alzheimer. Phase 1 trials of the molecule have been completed in the US. Tata still has shut down its Naumundi mine in Jharkhand on the orders from the state government. This could impact earnings adversely. Thomas Cook has gained majority shareholding in Sterling Holidays Resorts uh, with further acquisition of over 1 crore shares for around 116 crore rupees. Now they hold close to 55.14 percent share. Sipla has entered into a commercial collaboration with SND Pharma and CZ Republic and uh, Slovakia. Under the collaboration, Sipla will drive its respiratory product portfolio in both CZ Republic and uh, Slovakia. Aditya Villa Chemicals uh, has acquired Chlor Alkali Division of uh, Jashi Chemicals for 212 crore rupees. Hungary has secured European uh, Union uh, regulatory approval to grant 95.7 million euros in aid to Apollo tires to build a tire plant in the north of the country. Hungary is offering a direct grant of 48.2 million euros in employment, grant of 2.8 million, million euros in tax allowances of about 44.7 million euros for the new facility which will create 975 jobs. That's all from our side. Thanks and bye. Have a nice training session.